Okay, so I was trying to make the, the point that international development or development policy tends to be something that is talked about in developed countries mm -hmm. in the north. Mm -hmm. When you go to a developing country, it's just policy. So we talk about macroeconomic policy, we talk about health policy, we talk about education policy in a country like Peru, where I come from. When you go to the UK, that, that's addressed by the development sector, the international development sector or industry. So if you go to the UK, um, you'll have a, an education policy sector, a health policy sector, uh, monetary policy, research centers and experts, etc., um, dealing with UK policy. Uh, but if you want to learn about those things um, and you are from a developing country, uh, they'll put you in the field of development studies. And you might learn about these things in the development studies context. So you end up really learning about, you, you learn about them in a general way. You learn about them from literature reviews or from various examples or cases from developing countries. But you're not necessarily learning from UK health systems or education systems. Um, so there's a separation, and I think that separation is, is unhelpful. Just sharing what you've done well, you know what you've learned in these sectors. And to do that, you don't need a main industry, you don't need an international development sector. It could be done peer to peer, university to university, city council to city council, um, education experts in Australia talking to education experts in developing countries, um, you know, uh, uh, public education experts, um, whether in the private sector or in the public sector or in NGOs, talking to their peers in Latin America or Southeast Asia or Africa. There's no need for a separate group of people claiming to understand development or understand the, develop, the context of developing countries. No, I don't think you have to organize this. You know, we, we want to control, but uh, nowadays uh, it's very easy if you are a decision maker, if you are an NGO, or you're uh, uh, an entrepreneur in anywhere in the world, to say, well, I've got, a, I've got a problem, I've got a challenge. I'd like to know who knows about this. You can go online, you can, you can go through contacts and find out who knows about these things around the world. And find information, find contacts, you know, tweet them and get them to you know, contact you and give you information. Um, the, the world can self-organize. You know, people who need something, people who uh, need a question answered, can find those who can provide the answer.